Greetings and welcome back one and all to Total War Warhammer, where in the last episode we managed to uh, fend off a bit of uh, an attack on our unit here. We did suffer fairly hefty losses as a result, but we've already managed to replenish them quite actively. I'm very, very pleased to see that. Now, what I think I would like to do is to draw my army back to about... Hmm... Yes, we're about here. Okay. We're going to move back into an area where we can recover. Okay. And I will set for that up. Now. There we go. We'll just sit here for now and allow our units to regenerate a little bit. Darkness now, have you already comes. moved? It does look like you have. So, all that remains for me to do then, in this case... Uh, would I, I actually be able to attack? Who's here? What kind of garrison do you have? Um, well, you got a reasonable garrison, honestly. Is there anyone else in there? I don't think Thy there is. Right is mine. Right, well, let's just charge in on attack. Uh, this is the whole of the garrison. We could set up some uh, battering rams, some um, siege towers, but honestly, I would prefer to just march in and attack if I could. Though, that being said, I think we're going to need the battering rams at the end of the day. As we've seen, I mean, I've got a couple of units. Where are they? There. I've got three knights, some dire wolves. They're not going to be able to climb the wall, so I'm going to need battering rams to get me in. So, sure, we'll buy two. Um, but that's all that we're going to go for there. Okay, continue the siege. For the time being. Now, let us pass some time and find out what the enemy is going to do. Ooh, someone's on the march. They're going straight to Swartafen. Or perhaps to me. Uh, not too happy about that. Would like to try and assassinate them if I can. That's an army by the looks of it. Okay. So what are the enemy up to right now? Okay, it looks like Templehof are marching off towards... Uh, well, actually, you know Sabotage, what? I don't my lord. actually know. An enemy what? power sent a hero to disrupt the running of your domain. What? This act of aggression cannot be left unanswered. Disgusting. You hindered my army. Well, that's kind of fine, honestly. Um, could you take them out? You've got a reasonable chance of actually getting hurt. So, maybe not. Not today. How about instead to get you down here and you can give it a shot. Yeah, sure. 32% is much better. Let's try and take out this hero. No, I ah. think not, mortal. Oh, wait. It's not up to par. You suck. The suckicity of your life is practically immeasurable. Let us try with an actual assassin then. I mean, okay, look, you know, not exactly your deal, though she hasn't got much better of a chance, honestly. And yet, there she goes. That 1%, ladies and gentlemen, made all the difference. There we go. Succeeded in wounding um, an escaped unscathed in the assassination attempt. Uh, did they just flat out die, or did they get returned to their capital? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to hope that they died. That is my hope. Alright, well in that case, how's your army doing? Uh, they're doing alright. I'll give them a little bit more time, I think. Ooh, you got a level up for that. Very glad to see. Let's go ahead and take that level up. Ghostly Howl. No despoiler. Income is modified by an additional minus 3%. Income from all buildings plus 3%. Harassment, attrition, minus 3% when under siege. Forces in local owned region. Um, no, we'll go with the spoiler, I think. There we go. I approve. Right, well, there's not actually that much for us to do right now. I can purchase something in Castle Drakenhof if I so choose. Uh, do I so choose, though? That is the question. I do not so choose. I want to save up. It's going to be a little while. So we're going to go ahead and immediately end this turn. And hopefully, their armies aren't just going to march down and mess around. Oh, no! Oh, no. Did my ally just lose 
their army completely? Scallywags. I have no idea what Templehof is doing. But I kind of like that they're doing it. Packs of direwolves run rampant to blight the lands of the mortals, but a master must bring his dogs to heal at some point. Do that, and they will be part of our legions, and a more effective tool. Direwolf packs. Recruitment cost minus 50% for direwolf units. For three turns. Oh, okay. I approve. I'm okay with this. More now, shot. I could let that... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to let you have one more turn. One more turn. You, however, I could possibly just get in there and go for you. Let's see, block army, 30% chance. Uh, let's not. Then let's go here. Let's see what you can do. You can't damage the walls either. Well, what you can do, though, is you can go in there and just deploy yourself. There we are. And deploy hero. Lots of income going down now. Good. As for you. you need fresh troops. Uh, no, at the moment I do not. This as way. it happens. I would like you. Oh, actually. Can you actually rejoin this army? No, not quite. Agreed. I'll let you try and get there, but uh, we are waiting a little bit longer, I think. I think one more turn for what we need there. We can now purchase something in Castle Templehof. We could improve this. Uh, no, I think we're going to wait at least another two turns before I buy anything. Now then, my army should be ready to march again in just a moment, which is very nice. Ah, uh, hello. Where are you off to? You sneaky little devil, you. Foolish Vengori! They say you revel in victory. They say you spend more time erecting monuments to battles past than managing the realm. They say you are a fool. We'll see who is the fool. War favor. Leadership plus six. All forces. Or perhaps a more humble approach. Recruitment surplus. No. War favor. We'll see who's no. that fool. Alright, who's this? I veto this. It is someone who's going to be easily killed. Uh, fair enough. It is night. I would like you to join Necropolis Manfred. And we'll be taking you into battle shortly. But for now, how about you just attack them and we'll just auto it. Oh, you didn't get there in time. Well, that sucks. I'll need to tell you to move faster next turn, I think. Eh. Alright. Well, would you actually have any better chances right now than assassinate? Ooh. That's actually a 53% chance of doing it. How much did it cost? 509. Go for it. Oh, you scoundrel, you. You wasted my money. Poop. Oh, well. Let's see. Right, we've got some new stuff that we can do. Leader of the pack. Weapon strength, blah, blah, blah. Speed. No. Not really what I want. Leadership. Plus five for skeletal units. That would be very nice. Raise a newly dead. A single word boon. Spoken during the ritual will harden the skin of corpses as they jerk back to life. Armor plus 10 for zombie units. And melee attack plus 3. And melee defense plus 3. Now considering that my zombies are effectively a... Um, they're just basically a throwaway shock troop. I just want them to soak up initial damage to allow my other units to kind of get into better positions. I think... I think that might be a nice one. The, the armor is, is is the thing I really like there. Yeah, let's go for that. It's going to take eight turns to get. That's fine. Now then, I think it is time Destroy them. for us to attack. Uh, it looks like they actually have a reasonable amount of... A uh, reasonable chance to resist, honestly. And that's kind of scary. Um, maybe I should get a couple of... Uh, actual siege towers to get up there, but uh, I'm happy enough just having my units charge in. So okay, well, go on then, let's let's actually attack. Fight the battle, please. Alright, we will see how this goes. We've not got that much bigger of an army. The enemy have a reasonable army on their side, and it's of fairly powerful units too. So it's, it's not going to be a walk in the park for us, certainly not, but and I keep getting distracted because Siri's got her bum hanging out of her cuddle cup in her cage. I think she's half climbed in and then fallen asleep. 
before she's gone all the way in, so she's just kind of dangling there. She is a very funny little ferret. Right, start deployment. I don't think we're going to gamble. That is actually really good Winds of Magic there. But as for our actual deployment... Now, you know what? I would like if my cavalry... Can my cavalry units hide? Can they hide? Hide in forest. In that case, I want my cavalry units very much hidden. Um, is there reasonable forest over here? <laughs> Apparently that does count as forest, but... I'm not sure why. Uh, I wouldn't say that that was a forest, honestly. That's four trees. Four trees does not a forest make, in my humble opinion, but alright. Um, we'll have you there. We'll also have my die walls in this forest. You know what? This is a good place to put my units while I wait. My zombies, I kind of want them to be marching. Now the question is, do I want to go through on each side or just on one? I, no, I think I think I would like to have both gates burst open. So we'll try and set that up. Um, but I would say there's a very good reason right, you are not properly hidden. Can we get you properly hidden at all in this forest? No. No. Okay. How about over here then? You're fast. You don't need that much. There you go. Right, because for the moment, I don't actually just want to have my units who aren't going to be fighting that visible, so... You can go ahead, hide in... Oh, uh, you can't hide in forest, can you? No, you can't. Oh, that's fine then. You're just going to have to make very rapid progress and attack them straight away. But that's alright, that's actually something I, I kind of want to see anyway. They've got Vanguard deployment, but we're not going to be deploying them. I'll also have my Vargulf hidden, if it can even hide. No, it can't. Well, that's a shame. Well, then I'll probably want to get right up to the gate, where I don't think the Archer Towers get coverage over that gate. So we'll see what we can do. But other than that, I think what we need is for all of our units to basically charge forward. I'm going to have them just assault this side. The battering ram will try to get through. Once it's through, I'll have my um, cavalry deploy down there if I can. Though, that being said, how about I send one or two with my my uh, zombies here. Uh, sorry, my crypt ghouls. There we go. That shouldn't be too bad. That'll force them to split up a little bit. Alright, I think we're ready for the battle. Pause this for a second. I want to see how they're positioned. They've got their flying units are making a move for my less well defended units over here. That's a bit of a shame. I want that making a move straight down there. I would like you to make a move and climb up there straight away. I want you to do much the same on that side. Once these guys have engaged, I'm going to have my cavalry charge out and meet them. Because I suspect they're just going to try and go down there. So I'm going to flank them with my cavalry. And that should do a decent bit of damage. Uh, let's get you guys over here. Uh, yeah, sure, we've got there as well. Zombies. On those sides. I want you to be up on this side as well. I want to just try and overwhelm them as quickly as we are able. want that to smash in there. The Vargulf to go down there and help as well. Right, as for... I think that's pretty much everyone. Yep. Fairly certain that it is a lot. Ah, I can't... It's really quite frustrating that I can't see all of my units highlighted, but oh well. Right, so that's everything we need. I want you to up close. You can't actually climb, so I just want you to get over there then as fast as you can. Right, time to let this play out. We're going to let it play out in regular speed. I want you to just get down there and attack, though. If you would be so kind, same for you. Because you can just land on the battlements, so there's no reason to worry there. Your hidden units are revealed. No! How? When? Why? 
Oh, right, okay. Uh, hidden units. I wish you to be out there and attacking. Go. Charge. Charge faster. Charge much faster. Really? Why are you slowing down? Oh, it's because you're getting attacked by archers. Go on then. Tuck in there. We should be able to wipe them out fairly quickly. How's everything going down here? Um, we're actually holding our own here. Wow. Alright. Well, there's not much I need to do down there, then. But I want you to come out here and meet them on the battlefield. Pull back, and then re-engage, please. Make sure everything's going okay over there. Right, there we go. Re-engage. Now, how's everything going here? We're not doing terribly badly. But it's not going amazing, either. Alright, okay. Go ahead and engage. I want you to bail out. Just go, flee. If you can, store your leadership where possible. Where's Manfred? Manfred's um, range for his leadership is actually pretty amazing. Alright, get on down here. Try and get in away from all the archers attacking. Manfred, can you reach with Soul Blight? I think you might be able to. Go ahead. Get that going. Now, how's everything going down here? We have, it seems, one. So go ahead. Advance. I want you to head back into the uh, forest, though. Same with you. No point in you being out there. Just march. Right. Oh, wow. This is what happens when I don't pause everything. Mm, I make lots of mistakes. Right. Go ahead. Get up there. Up there. Go, go, go. Up you go. Seems that we've got our units going up. Can you actually get up there? No. That's such a pain. There we go. Wow, that was so much easier. In you go. In fact, Manfred and my necromancer get in there as well. Vargast. Uh, Vargulf, rather. Um, actually. While I have you guys attack from the flank over here. That's right, straight up. And you should really be up there attacking from the other side. And now that we've got you in, engage. Let's actually get nice down here and see that collapse on them. Ah, oh, that's good to see. Everyone on that one, please. Um, He's under gash. Who can we get that on? Go ahead, take him out if you can. There we go. Wow, that's a bold claim. That's a very bold claim. My lord. Lord is under attack, yeah, I'm not surprised seeing things like that. Very bold. I think the enemy lord is about to go down. And it's going to be glorious. Right. Can we get some healing going on, please? Wouldn't mind some, eh? Let's have a look at you. How's this fight going? Oh, I like the shockwaves coming from the sword. That's very nice. Do it again. There we go. I approve. I approve. Let me continue. Continue to be awesome. That isn't so great, though. I kind of want my Vargeist up there helping out. Go, go, go. Get involved in that fight, please. How's everything else going down? Has this been breached? I imagine it has, actually. So my units are just sat there, you know, chilling out. Enjoying themselves a bit. Go ahead, go inside. 
Oh, what's he doing out there? There we go. Some stronger units, just, you know, chilling out, having some fun. And Dad just want to have fun, as the song goes. Right, we need to get... Yeah, you're just melting underneath the gaze of our necromancer, uh, our leader and necromancer there. <laughs> Necromancer's really enjoying himself, though. I approve. Go ahead, you know, knock yourself out. You deserve to have a, uh, a bit of joy every now and then. Hi. Not too much. Though. Makes you weak. Right, can we please get plenty of Gaze Nagash going? Who is it? There we go. On you. There we go. We've got this, I think. Right, you can go over there. I would like you to kind of stay together. We've got what over here? We've got some things that I really don't want to play with, honestly. Alright. Time for me to bring out my cavalry. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. And this, yank. Wow, really? I had some bloody spearmen who hadn't moved out? That is so annoying. And it's all my fault as well. Which is even more annoying. It's much more annoying when it's my fault that something didn't happen. Really? Uh, well, I guess there are still actually troopers up there. Sure, let's let's get up there and put an end to that tower, please. So I can stop shooting all my uh, cavalry. Alright, I want my cavalry... Actually, there we go. just want all of you in here. Oh. They're taking an enormous amount of time to kill off these skeletons up here. I've got to be honest, I'm not too happy with it. There. Now you can attack. Just collapse on them. There we go. Feast! I wish I could get my heroes up on the battlements, but for some reason it's like, nah, we don't climb walls. No. I mean, I'd understand if that's what I was asking them to do. I'm not ask actually asking them to climb the walls, though. I'm saying go up the ladders or, you know, use the gatehouse, but no, no. Too good for that. Wow, those wolves. It's crazy fast. Crazy fast. Right, let's get everyone here. I'm gonna want my uh, cavalry to go around, though. Mm. Where is your lord? Do you have a lord left? You must do for you to be holding on. Your binding should have undone otherwise. Right, okay, well, we could spend forever just getting uh, everyone healed up, but that would be incredibly boring. So we're instead going to be uh, more in character, I think. I cast on the wrong unit, damn it. More in character, and uh, we're not going to actually care about our undead, because they're just, they're just carrying. We just got them out of graves. There'll be plenty of graves. We don't need to worry about them. Hold down there, please. Go, go, go. Well, the question is, how are we going to engage? Um, I'd like to draw them out, honestly, if I could. Okay, you know what? Vargolf, charge. Get in there. Also. Right, now they're on the move. Good, 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 good. Bring them back to me. Well, guys, go up. What I would like is my spearman to attack the large creatures. And for my Vargulf to head up here. Skeletons, get involved. Now, how are you going to react to me being there? Is the question. Everyone involved. Now I can just have you moving around. Let's get you involved. Let's have you just collapse on them, if you'd be so kind. There we go. 
Yeah, just pluck them off their horse, carry them up into the sky, drop them from a very great height. They've got their cavalry in here, not too happy about that. Like you down there, though. What are you guys doing? Not a whole lot that's useful, it appears. My fog up in there, and all of the rest in there as well. Then we'll try and collapse down on them from this side, too. Go, go, go! There we go. Let's have a watch of the Vargulf doing the, its job. And the hounds. Faithful hounds. Faithful Vargeists. Ah. Oh, they look so happy. Look at him. Just smushing them into paste. Then throwing them around a little bit. He's playing with his food, basically. I'm well versed in this. My parents like to do it every now and then. But well, their food usually isn't undead. Usually. Not always. I do actually feed them something called Franken prey, so you know. It is pretty much what you imagine. There we go. Not too bad. What did we lose? We lost 602, they lost everything. Did we actually lose any units, though? I think we did. There we are. Enemies captured, we're on 24. And we did reasonably well. Got a bit more EXP. Okay, well, this is going to be mine now. I gave you a chance, Temple Half, but no. Here we are. In complete control of this province, it is now possible to issue commandments across the land. Pretty well. Commandments it is. Uh, if I select you. Tax rate, vampiric corruption, plus one, public order, local recruitment capacity, unit experience, plus one for all recruits, and uh, no, I would prefer tax rate, actually. Okay. Well, actually, I didn't lose a single full unit. Wow, I'm actually genuinely impressed. Genuinely impressed. You have gained a level up. I'm glad I had you join the army before I uh, had you move in there. Okay, so... But evasion, we can now take some of these. Earthing, miscast chance minus 25%, winds of magic power, reserve plus 15, curse of years. The wizard spits out an ancient curse, causing his enemies to age at an incredible rate. Their hair turns white and skins shriveling up. Uh, minus 34 melee attack, minus 24 speed, uh, percent speed, plus 15 ability recharge, or wind of death. The wizard calls forth spectral winds that howl through the enemy ranks, tearing their souls from their bodies. Weak versus single combatant, large area of effect, strong versus multiple units, causes magic damage. Hmm. Cannot use if climbing, cannot target if flying. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Cooldown is reduced at level 2. Very well. Okay, well, Templehof, you scoundrels, you. This is now my land. You had a chance. I gave you every opportunity to be friends, but no, you I have thought. to be annoying. But that is going to be it for this episode, I think. We've taken this area. Let's actually quickly have a look. What have we got? We've got an upgraded... Uh, we've got a garrison. I wouldn't mind taking that up to garrison too. We've also got gallows. And if we level her up once more, we can get one other thing, which will be the uh, hellfire brazier. Or balefire brazier, so that we can spread our vampiric corruption into the neighboring lands. It's up to 42%. Only plus 1% per turn at the moment, though, which is not truly amazing, but we'll see. But that is going to be it from me for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next. As ever, any feedback is warmly welcomed and a like on the video lets me know that you want to see more of this in the future. But until then, do take care, everybody.